Hi and welcome to the video, I'm Dame and this is Dame Over and today has us looking at one of the old favourites of so many players in Battlefield 1, the Hellregal. After several patches and three loads of DLC dropping and with another huge patch with changes to Time to Kill on the horizon, I'm going to be asking the question, does the Hellregal still reign supreme? So if you find this video useful or entertaining, make sure you hit that like button before you go. I'm sure some of you are asking why bother to make this video now? Well, considering the recent patch to auto-aim and rotation that was implemented on console, thereby increasing the skill gap, and because of the recent weapons that have dropped that have seemingly leveled the playing field somewhat for each class, I thought it prudent to take another look at Battlefield 1's most popular weapon to see if it still deserves the number one spot. After a lot of changes over recent months to time to kill and damage being implemented for lots of different classes and lots of different weapons, the game's meta has been shaken up with lots of people choosing to use classes that were recently very unpopular and choosing weapons that don't sit within the very top 1% for popularity either. I personally think this is a really good thing. Variety is the best part about Battlefield 1 and there are lots of different ways to play and this on the whole is dictated very heavily by which loadout you choose. So having more competition between which weapons the player base is choosing has seen a much needed change of pace in Battlefield 1, reinvigorating the experience as a whole. And as I alluded to a little bit earlier, there's another very important patch coming in with loads of different changes to how the weapon damage functions, but most importantly affecting time to kill for almost every single gun in the game. I'm planning on making a video about the specifics of this very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that one, but it seemed important to find out if the Hellregal is still at the top of the meta in its performance. So why is the Hellregal so good? Obviously, the Hellregal can absolutely wreck people at close range, and being an SMG, this is something that you expect. Its closest competitors, the MP18 and the Ribe Rolles, are both very good if they're used properly, but they do struggle against the versatility you can achieve when you're using the Hellregal. So up against almost every other assault loadout, you stand an incredibly good chance of winning the encounter. And up against the other classes, when you're in the Hellregal specialist range, it's generally a foregone conclusion. But like I said, this is all very obvious, because with the assault class, you'd expect a high level of lethality in close quarters. One aspect of the Hellregal that really takes it to the top of the meta, though, is the fact that it works incredibly well in mid-range and even long-range fights. You can very easily compete with those people using the support class, as the visible recoil is quite easy to manage, and even against the mid-range specialist, the medic, you can cause a lot of problems as you're able to throw out so many bullets so quickly. Even at longer ranges, trigger tapping, you can still absolutely nail people, as long as you take your time and fire in two or three round bursts, you can still knock people down from ranges that you think shouldn't really be possible. And this is before I've even mentioned the obviously large 60 round drum magazine. Having so many bullets at your disposal after a full reload means that if you flank properly, you can take out multiple opponents without having to worry about pausing for a reload. And while it's important to know these things about a weapon, the main thing with the Hellregal though, and the number one reason that it's chosen so often, is simply because of how easy it is to implement all of these different aspects. The Hellregal is not a specialist weapon. It's a jack of all trades, as I explained in my most used assault video way back when. The Hellregal appeals to so many people because it doesn't require nearly as much skill as some of the other weapons to do very, very well. So if you consider this and then put the Hellregal in the hands of a very highly skilled player, it's really easy to consider it overpowered, which I personally think it is. It's being used by more than 50% of the players that play as the Assault class, and this is across all platforms, and the Assault class has always been the most popular to use since the game's first release. It's very closely followed by the Scout class, so the majority of all Battlefield 1 players across all platforms are picking the Hellregal as their primary weapon. And if you've seen my channel before, you know I use a large variety of weapons so I can showcase them to you guys, put out guides and stuff like that, but in my off time, if I feel like my team is struggling or I want to get more kills, or simply want to have a more casual experience that doesn't need as much skill or pressure, then I choose to switch to the Hellregal, or as I like to call it, go easy mode. I guess this brings up a couple of questions that I should ask you guys. Do you think that the Hellregal is overpowered? In your opinion, is it too good compared to the other weapons? Is it too easy to use, and do you think it will still be able to compete after the next soon-to-drop weapon patch? Personally, I think it will still remain at the number one spot, as the ease of use won't reduce that drastically, and it's something that lots of Battlefield 1 players love to use, so it would be a really weird decision for DICE to make to change it at this stage in the game's life cycle, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it should stay at the number one spot. 
but that's just my opinion. I'd really like to know what you guys think, so make sure you let me know down in the comments below. There's also something that I don't feel entirely comfortable talking to you guys about, but I got an email from YouTube the other day saying that they are going to demonetize my channel completely on the 20th of February, so that's a month from now, unless I can reach 400,000 viewing minutes. I'm currently 250,000 minutes short, and I need to reach 1,000 subscribers, so I'm roughly 300 short on that as well. So it's very important if you're watching this video and you like my content that you do subscribe. If you've got any friends that are interested, then please do send them my way. If you're watching a video for the first time, then make sure you hit that like button as it will help it be seen by more people on YouTube and share this video with whoever and wherever you like as usual. And I want to say a big thank you in advance to you guys for being so supportive. This little community we've created is incredibly encouraging, always. And I desperately hope that I can keep making content and we can continue to grow and carry on into the future. I guess all that's left to say is, until next time, that's game over. Peace.